Hey guys, it's Full Cartier, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Uh, indeed, indeed, 2023 represent. In front of me today, I have a box of 2011-12 in the game, Between the Pipes. Let's take flight, I'm psyched, Between the Pipes. And by the way, guys, I have some huge boxes coming up. <laughs> huge boxes coming up over the next couple of weeks, uh, including this monster of a monstrosity. Uh, there's only one McDavid card in this set, by the way. I think it's a jumbo patch, but 2015 Leaf uh, Ultimate. So this box is just bonkers big. Uh, I will be opening up some Pro Set uh, again, but I do plan on opening up some 94, 95 and early Be A Player Signature Series stuff, some stuff that you just don't see broken anymore. So I'm gonna do it. Anyways, let's get on to it, guys. Configuration, nine cards per pack, 18 packs per box, which are about to 162 cards. Base set, one through two, honey. Mass men, die cuts, 50 cards. The parallels are the silvers, number to 90. The gold's number to 10. There are eight base subsets. The future stars, the stars of the game, decades. Uh, stars and stripes, La Belle Province. Uh, expansion tandems, international pioneers. One game wonders. So all that stuff, guys, within this product. With their box break, expect 2.25 of the 10th anniversary inserts, 2.25 of the game use mems, a stunning collection of inserts also featuring authentic game use mems is what they call it. And of course, 2.25 of the authentic autos, as well as the three masked men cards. Bang, 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 bong, bong, bong. There are some cool old school relics in this product, just all kinds of goodness. I do have my Jacques Plante rookie card with touch corners in the background. There are Turk Broda and uh, Jacques Plante cards in here, uh, mem cards, so that they do uh, exist on occasion within these boxes. If you're super duper lucky, they are super duper rare because they're typically low numbering. So let's get at it. And there is a John Van Beesbrook uh, auto. I'm sort of been collecting his auto recently. There's a John Quick, there's a Mike Richter auto. There's some good autos within here. There even is a Patrick Wah and a Bernie Perron. So let's get at it, guys. So there's Scott Wedgwood, who's actually probably gonna play tonight as of recording this. Uh, Don Beaupre, 1980s. So these are subset cards. There's Darcy Kemper, and we do have our first die cut. So I do collect this set. In fact, I believe I have this set and it is the Jonas Hiller. Uh, I believe the die cuts are actually the base, not the parallels, believe it or not, which is kind of weird. Uh, very, very cool Jonas Hiller. These are the puzzle pieces um, uh, with old school halves I gather on it. And an expansion tandems. So this is one of the subsets and we do have the Bowman and Maniago, Brent Johnson, Bobby Lou, and Patrick Roy. All right, so we can try to guess at the puzzle pieces. I mean, maybe that's a have. I know there's Carrie Price and Jacques Plante uh, in this product. There is, uh, who else? Johnny Bauer is in the puzzle pieces. So we'll see uh, whether we can guess at those. They are really hard to guess typically. Uh, there's Carrie Lettinen, a D'Agostini, a Appleby. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Is this, is this an auto right away? Oh, wow. So this is, n yeah, wow, we have, wait a second. Hold up, hold up. So behind the Jill Villemur, uh, McCartan, Jill Gilbert, and the Arthur's Legend Herbe, we have our first auto here. And wow, it's an old school one. That is sick, guys. That is absolutely sick. So we have this Jack McCartan uh, old school decades, 1960s auto. I collect these, so to hit something that old is awesome. And then we have apparently a multi-way here. We have a multi-way behind the auto as well. Wow, what a, I was gonna say Scooby-Doo ending. This is a Scooby-Doo beginning. Look at this, man, look at this. So I already can see the Dominator. This is incredible. This is incredible, this is sick. So we have a Jimmy Howard, oh wow. So these are all Detroit Red Wings. We have Hashek and we have Roger Crozier. That is ridiculous. That is a ridiculous one. So we have vintage on vintage here. That is sick. Man, oh man. So Roger Crozier was, uh, won the Conn Smythe, right? So he was the first, I think five players have won it in defeat and he was the first one ever to do it. So what amazingness. So great start to this box, guys. Peter Budai, uh, I'm gonna have Lewin, uh, Renus, Pecorine, and here's a puzzle piece. Uh, I'm guessing this is the king. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing that's the king, I'm not sure. Dan Bouchard, Greg Millen, Stefan, and DeJordi. Wouldn't mind a DeJordi auto. King Longquist. 
uh, with a big king's heart, uh, ended his career because of his heart. Focun, Byzantine, uh, Keith Kincaid, Jimmy Howard. Um, this, I'm gonna guess, would be, what am I thinking? I'm thinking Turk Broda, and I'm thinking um, Johnny Bauer, right? So maybe Johnny Bauer. Uh, Patrick Roy, Liut, and Gromley. I love the 1980s cards and the decades cards. Very, very cool. Uh, Corbet, Smith, Richards, Desjardins, Cedric Desjardins. And yeah, well, this one might be a bit easier to guess. Pang, Simmons, Francis, and Chico Resch. I'm thinking these two are both Bauer. That would be my guess. All right, interesting game to play. Uh, Pierce, Crawford, Oh, we, you know what we have? Uh, I think it's a base insert actually, isn't it? Corey Crawford Hauser, Michael Hauser. And this one is the 10th anniversary. Uh, Henrik Lundqvist, another King card. So this is just a base one. That is very cool. Red, probably Tony Esposito, Glenn Hall, Crawford, Jim Carrey, and the Beezer wearing a cool helmet. Uh, Hewitt, Barlamov, uh, upside down card you can read. I think it's Tremblay, Hiller, and well, there's the king again. So that's another king piece, Tim Thomas. Uh, this is another one of the tandems, as well as the Jimmy Howard. Now, I believe that this is one of the mask parallels is what this one is. And you notice that they're not die cuts. So this Brizgalov, the legend himself, Brizgalov, uh, these would have to be golds, I guess. And by the way, those golds are numbered to 10 by definition, which makes me wonder what this um, print run is of this card is. I probably, so it's a silver version. I probably put it under the video by the time you've, you've probably already seen it by the time I've gotten to this point of the video. Uh, okay, so let's uh, continue on. Owls, Housley, Owsley, oh my God, we have another auto here. We have another auto. And all the cards are king cards, apparently. Jill Malosh, Seth Martin, Rick Walmsley. Should we save this auto, guys? Do you guys want to save it? I assume it's an auto. Yeah, it says congratulations on the back, so it's an auto. Uh, just too many great hits thus far. Yeah, okay, this is pretty self-evident who that is. Dion Rhodes and Jill Gilbert. So now I'm just gonna pummel through these at this point, but there's Ray Emery, rest in peace. Hamilton, there's Mike Smith. Malcolm Subban, nice Malcolm Subban. And we do have, oh, look at that, a George Vizina. Very cool. And this entire thing is Lundquist. All the puzzle pieces today are Lundquist. There's Cujo and there's the Johnny Bauer. So I think we've seen most of the Johnny Bauer cards as well. So all the cards have been, I think there's one Tony O, two or three Johnny Bowers and the rest have been the King. Martin Jones, there's a young Martin Jones, very nice. Yara Halak, uh, Zach Koff, and this might be Tony O, I'm guessing. Phil Meyer, Sotart, Michelle Dion, and Felix the Cat. I think there's also a Jerry Cheever's puzzle piece, so we might see him. I think I've seen him in other boxes, not necessarily this box. Uh, what is this? Oh my God, we have another hit. What is going on with this box? Hasha, Carrie, Maniago, Ty Conklin, uh, Niederberger, there's an Antiniemi, won the Stanley Cup. Uh, Mike Murphy, and can you guys see who that is, what that is? Dan Ellis, behind this Dan Ellis. What is this? I'm pretty sure this is a, a jersey or something. What, well, it says between the pipes, so that we know. All right, let me center this. And, ooh, goalie mojo, of course, because everything's goalie mojo. Um, oh my God, it's a piece of pad. Wow. Wow. This is, oh my God, it's Kiprasov. What? Look at that. It's a Mika Kiprasov pad. That is sensational. Black pad, man. These are ridiculously beautiful. You just don't hit these hits. I'm sure this is low numbered. I'm gonna look it up right away. So guys, this is the 10th anniversary um, card. And by definition, because it's 10, they're numbered to 10. So every one of these is number 10. There's only 10 of these in existence. So this is one of 10. Uh, they're not numbered on the card, but they are print run to 10, or print run, print ran <laughs> to 10. All right, very, very cool, Kipper. That's just sick, guys. 
Siemens, uh, Chad Johnson, uh, Gustafson, Jack Campbell, there's a Jack Campbell. And uh, this is probably Cujo, I'm thinking. That looks like Cujo. Jim Craig, Phil Meyer, young Phil Meyer. Uh, Holmquist uh, and a Craig Anderson. Wow. So our two relics have been absolute home runs. Just a puzzle piece, probably just a puzzle piece. Craig Anderson, Matt Murray, Michael Newby, uh, Jonathan Quick. Another one of these puzzle pieces, and this is probably um, Tonio, I'm guessing. Uh, there's George Vizina, super young George Vizina. There's Mike Richter and Dennis DeGiordi. I loved our auto. I absolutely loved our auto. But the thing is with the auto, you can hit these future star autos, and a lot of those guys are not future stars. They're just sort of generic guys who don't really make it. Um, oh my God. I mean, Johnny Bauer is all over this product. There's the Eagle. Gilles Maloche, um, Rogi Vachon, and Joe Daly. All right, last three packs, and I saved that one for the end. If I hit another auto, I'll be in seventh heaven. I'm already in seventh heaven with this product today. Another Johnny Bauer, that's funny. Okay, Miller, there's Carrie. And what is this? Oh, no way. Are you kidding? We just hit a Tim Thomas auto? <laughs> wow, what? That is sick. No way. Look at that. Tim Thomas, Consmite winner Tim Thomas. Uh, arguably the best save percentage in the history of the game given his smaller sample size. I mean, this guy was just, wow, just unbelievable. I mean, he put up like a 930 plus. Wow, that is amazing. That is amazing. I'm thinking playoffs, I'm thinking regular season. He had a very high save percentage. And more Johnny Barr puzzle pieces. Charlie Hodge and Jerry Cheevers. That's sick, guys. So we've gotten three autos in this box. What? And so far, those two autos were absolute home runs. A vintage auto. I mean, come on. So this... What is this? Okay, okay. I'm freaking out here. I really am too excited. Uh, but we do have another one of the die cuts. So there's Corey Schneider, who was just sent back down. And we have a Thomas Vokun mask, uh, men. So as I said, I collect these. In fact, I have this set. That's a Cujo. Uh, there's the Ed Jacamine. There's the Beezer with his cool mask. And there's Jill Villemur. All right, we have this, and then we have that last auto. Can we spike anything else? Because, oh my God, we have another hit? No way. Or maybe that's, is that a hit? I think it's a hit, I think it's a hit. And phew, going crazy. Uh, so this is one of the expansion tandems and they always have a lesser known with a better known player. Mike Pfizer, Drieger, uh, Eddie Lack, and Dwayne Rolly the goalie. And I believe we've hit our third relic. I mean, I'm a relic, but this is a relic as well. So let's see, how can we, how can we reveal this slowly? I've been screwing all my reveals. Oh my God, there it is, it's Arthur Survey. What? Look at that. So it's just a plain napkin jersey of Arthur's Hervé, the legend, with his ugliest helmet and mask on the planet. And it's a silver version, so I guess these are in the, what, number to 90 or something? So I'm thinking those are number to 140. And this, unless it's a silver patch, it's not a patch, it's just a napkin, because the patch is number 219. They have something called silver patch. That was called silver, but I think it's just a base silver. So let's see who our last auto is. I'll be really sad if this isn't even an auto. Um, because I thought it was. So let us see. Decades, this is definitely an auto. I mean, what decade is it? Decades are great because they tend to be the really well-known ones. 80s, all right. So this could potentially be a legend. Oh my God, is it Simmons? What? What? Nice. Very nice, man. 1980s. He was, wasn't he more 70s? That is so cool. We hit a Gary Simmons. That is sick. That is sick. He has, the reason why I know who he is, besides the fact that like I'm a goalie, is he has one of the most memorable masks and most famous masks in the history of the hobby. So we just had six hits in that box, guys. 
plus the mass men. So that's basically it guys, a stellar, a stellar box of this stuff. I couldn't contain my excitement because not often you receive three relics and three autos in this stuff. Sometimes you only receive three total of all of those. I also received a gold parallel of the Masked Man cards, which is amazing, a Xena card. I almost completed the puzzles, just bonkers off the chain, off the hook. Uh, guys, so do me the honor, do me the honor, sub like and hashtag and Dryden. I have some really crazy old school boxes to open up over the next little while. You have to sub for that. It's just gonna be crazy, stuff you just don't see anymore. I'm also giving away a big shipping box full of cards next week. You wanna enter by hashtagging Dryden and subbing and liking, okay? Sub like, hashtag Dryden. How many full cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York City? Give a rich girl, and you're going too far, cause you know it don't matter.